Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video on the JT12's RC Videos YouTube channel. Now of course today we're joined here in the workshop with the 110 scale Nitro RC truck that we are rebuilding. Since the last video I haven't touched this thing apart from dusted it off a little bit, cleaned it a little bit further and now it is ready today for the installation of the central gearbox followed by the engine and the exhaust system and then it's completely done. So we've got this massive mounted of parts here um, in this video we're going to be installing, if I can find it, the central differential gearbox. And then for that we obviously need the dog bones as well. And we also will need a set of brake pads. And we will also need these grub screws. Um, tools wise, um, you're going to be needing quite a few tools. Uh, mostly um, hex style um, uh, drivers like the ones I've got here. I'm also going to be using thread lock on all of my metal to metal screws and I'm also going to need some pliers and things like that. So firstly I'm going to assemble the central differential gearbox. Um, this is how it comes. Um, this has already got a metal spur gear installed. So this is how the gearbox comes. It doesn't come with any of the brake um, systems so you do need to install all of that yourself. So in this video that's what we're going to be doing. So Let's get to it, installing central differential gearbox in the 110 scale Nitro RC truck from HSP that I've rebuilt. So, first thing I'm going to do is, of course, just get this little baby out of its packaging. Here it is. So, like I say, here's your central differential gearbox. This is what it looks like. Um, central. Uh, this is your metal spur gear. Okay, here's your slipper clutch. The first thing I'm going to do is now install um, the drive cup onto both sides. Um, so let's start by installing that one. So the reason why, I was, why I'm installing this now is because in order to fit the brake pads onto here, you need to actually have a drive cup installed because the brake pads simply um, slide over the drive cup. So here's the drive cups you need, it's part number 08016. They do come included with the um, grub screws so you don't need to order those ones separately. So these parts are very, very simple to install, all you need to do is literally you just slide them on. You can see you've got this little flat part, this part's round, this part is flat. What you want to do is the area where the a grub screw goes that goes onto the flat part and the grub screw, screw will slide in here with a little bit of thread lock and then the grub screw grips onto this flat part here so let me do that like I said I'm going to be using thread lock on most of my screws um, this is the joy of rebuilding an RC car you can actually do it to your your standards so for me I like to use thread lock on all of these kind of bits and bobs oops just missed it because that way the screws will not come loose hopefully okay so once your drive cups are installed on both sides of the central differential gearbox next you need to install uh, this part here Where's it gone? this is part number 08016 this part is basically a little push rod um, for your brake pads now it's important you need to install these first um, before you install the brake pads because otherwise you need to take your pads off again so let's open up this part here basically how this works is uh, this rod will slide in here and it has a little um, it has a flat part on it now basically when this turns and is rotated by your brake system um, this uh, turns and basically pushes onto the brake pads so you can see it slots down into there when it turns it will push a little um, little part outwards and it grips onto your brakes that's how the brake system works in these cars so you want to leave that one slid into there and then this is the little part I was talking about you do not want to lose this part if you lose it that's going to be a right pain in the arse so um, once this is slid in here twist the rod until it's flat inside and then you want to insert this little part into this hole there let me see if I can do it first time beautiful and then you can see if I turn this bit very slowly you can just imagine this is now connected to the push rod on your servo system when you turn this part you can see it pushes outwards 
in reality when the brake pads are flush against this therefore when this turns out this is basically going to squeeze the brake pads together that's how it works so once this is installed like I say be very very careful you don't want to lose it it's a tiny little bit it could easily go so when you place down your gearbox ready for the next part I'm going to place it down this way so that it can't fall out if you can work on this sort of area this is just a cheap white ball I picked up if you can work on this area, it makes it a lot easier than on just the wooden bench because the wooden bench is very hard to see it also has the joints in the wood so it makes it very difficult to work on so this is why I'm using this uh, white background okay so once that's done it's now time to install the the uh, the brake pads so what you're going to find in here is you've got two carbon fiber uh, brake discs these originally um, were made of uh, different material didn't last so well uh, now they're made of carbon fiber on this particular model the um, brakes are only on one side so you only have brake pads this side you don't have any on the other side on some cars you will find that you actually have one brake pad each side but in this case it's just one brake pad on this one side you'll also find that you've got two sets of brake shoes okay so those are your pads that's your pads that's your brake pads and then these are the brake shoes these are the things that uh, grip the brake pad between it like that the brake pad will go in the middle and then you tighten these up and then that adjusts your brake system okay so I know this might not be making much sense but actually once it all goes together you'll see how the brakes work and how to assemble it is very very simple too so what you need to start by doing is laying down the shoes there on top of that slides your pads and you can see they have a square part here as well that square part simply slides over your and then on top of that goes the other pad and then you just need to attach all of that together using the supplied screws into there okay so once that's done you want to screw these screws into the stage where just the non-threaded part is showing out there's no point using thread lock with these ones this is plastic into plastic screws no need to use thread lock with this one at all I can stop probably a little bit more probably leave it there and then do the same both sides make sure it's evenly screwed in and you can just check that actually Firstly, it's adjusted equally on both sides, and secondly, that your thing works. And then, if you twist this part, it should actually break. Once that's done, last thing you need to do is just slide this part into there, and then secure that in using the grub screw provided in the brake kit. So here we have the truck. If you look on the underside of the um, gearbox, you can see you have these two. Um, securing pins here now these simply slide into the chassis into these two holes the gearbox remember obviously sits this way round so that is just going to slide it in there let me just slide it in just to show you it will need to be removed again because of course we do need to pop in our dog bones into there as well so the gearbox will sit in there that's completely secured now just by the retaining pins what you now need to do though is of course use your two dog bones which we have got here so this is part number uh, what does that say that one is uh, 08060 that's the shorter one uh, sorry no that's the longer one then you have the shorter ones this one is 08061 one of these goes at the front just by the looks of it the shorter one goes at the front so that's this part then the longer one goes at the rear so let's get to work on that okay so having now just installed the central differential gearbox you need to check that your four-wheel drive system is working you'll know if it's working if you simply just roll the car forwards on the uh, front wheels the rear wheels will turn likewise if you do it the other way around the front wheels will turn or if you just turn it lift it off the ground turn this one you can see turning the back wheel the front wheel is turning okay so this means now that the central differential gearbox is in it's fitted into the vehicle and it's working last thing you need to do in relation to the gearbox is just connect the um, the uh, the brake linkage here so you can see 
um, this part just connects from your servo and it connects sits on your servo here and connects to the linkage on the gearbox there so it's very very simple to do if you just unscrew this part here obviously it depends which order you do things in whether you'll need to do this bit or not but basically all you need to do is literally just slide this one through there that's where it sits and it just needs to go through here and connect on to the other end so let's do that okay so thank you very much for watching this video in regards to setting up and installing the central differential gearbox the brake system connecting it up to the brakes and of course the dog bones there this concludes this part part four of the series thanks so much for watching in the next part of the video we're going to be installing the engine so please do stay tuned for that I've got the engine here ready for me you'll have to wait for the next video to see which engine i chose just a little hint it's not very exciting it's pretty much a stock engine that can be found in some of these models so the reason I went for that is because I thought, you know, we're rebuilding this truck. I want to rebuild it up to like a factory standard. It's not really a modification project. It's just getting it back up from basically a bare chassis to this stage. Well, to, with an engine stage. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. And of course, if you like what you saw, please leave a like. And of course, press that red subscribe button. That already helped me out. Thanks very much, guys. But for now, my name is Josh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.